Welcome back to a new Ben's Garage video. As you would have seen, we've got the Grow Watt working again. Um, I will do a video on the Power Mister that went kaput, and they backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. It's still under guarantee. They're sending me a new motherboard, so we've had a new motherboard in the Grow Watt. We're having a new motherboard in the Power Mister now. It put, the Hobbit did point out to me when we get the Power Mister fixed, we ought to run that until it's out of warranty or you know to use up the warranty we know this works so we could take that off the wall put the power mister back on the wall and then um, see how many more times it breaks down in its two year period <laughs> anyway that's not today's video today's video is a new battery um, one of the limiting factors of our system is not so much the panels We've, we do have plenty of power coming in the inverter is more than capable of the loads we have on the house storage overnight and on cloudy days when it's cloudy and windy so we have gone for the pylon tech us 5000 you'll see down here i'm just going to quickly start it up and we'll have a look at it and um this is just a procedure that you have to do before you let things get running on the inverter so let's just go down here and do the do on 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 on, on, on. You see that that's flashing. That battery is being charged up by those two because we've got one, two, three, we've got five lights on each of those. We've only got four on that one. So that those two batteries are charging the new one. So we'll leave that. I've not connected it up to the inverter or to the uh, communication cable yet. We're just letting the batteries equalize. So as you can see from that clip, the two, our two original batteries, the US 3000 Cs, are now charging up the US 5000. Um, when you introduce a new Pylon Tech battery to your stack, you always put the newest one to the top. So that becomes your master battery. And then all the other batteries below it become your slave batteries. A little bit different in our case, because we've gone from a US 3000C to a US 5000. So in that case, the US 5000 always goes at the top. And obviously if we had an, if we got a new US 5000, that would go on top of this one. So all, the newest one would always become the master battery. US 3000Cs are three and a half kilowatts of storage and now have got 3.3 kilowatts of usable storage. So these are 95% discharge batteries, um, which is pretty good. Um, so the US 5000 is a 4.8 kilowatt storage with 4.5 kilowatts of usable storage. I think in total we've got about 11.3 kilowatts of storage now that's usable. Um, we don't pull our batteries right down to 95% discharge. Um, I have it, obviously overnight, it pulls the batteries right down, but I've got it set to charge from the grid when the batteries get down to 20%. So if overnight the batteries got to 20%, the grid would flick on and it would charge them back up and then you can set that up. So if we've got, a, if we know we're gonna get rain or cloudy days, we'd have it charging up to 95%. Um, if we go to bed and we think the battery's not gonna last, but tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day, we would probably set it to like 50%. So it would charge the batteries up to 50%. That would last through the night. And then obviously when the sun comes out in the morning, it starts charging the batteries from fresh. So that's the plan. Um, yeah. With the US 5000 in the brochure, in the, the instructions, it tells you when you, you can mix and match all these Pylon Tech batteries, the US series. So you've, you'll have your US 5000 at the top, and then you've got your US, you can put a US 3000C or a US 2000C underneath, and then underneath that would be a US 2000 or a US 3000. So obviously the C was, I think, is a newer battery, so it gets complicated, but it's straightforward really. Um, so I'm just waiting for these lights to sort of equalize now so it did I did read somewhere it said 15 minutes um, but I would like them all to be the same when I get them 
connected up to the inverter really so that we know that all batteries are exactly the same voltage and uh, yeah so I'll be back with you when they're all at the same when all the lights are the same we'll have a look at it and then we'll connect it up and then I'll just go through the startup procedure and um, yeah we'll see what happens got the instructions here we've left this for over an hour um, the bottom battery is down to four lights the middle battery is still on five and the top one's flashing on four so it's still taking a charge out the middle but it says here um, during capacity expansion or replacement when parallel parallel different state of charge voltage of module together it is recommended to maintain the system in idle for 15 minutes or until the state of charge LEDs become similar one dot different becomes normal operation so we're close enough um, I would have liked to have left it um, going until all lights were down on four so that but it's got BMS it's gonna charge it up um, intelligently it's not you're not just whacking volts in a massive battery bank it uh, it is quite clever so we'll get all this all connected up and then I'll show you the procedure of uh, getting all that fired back up again. So now I'm going to put the the CAN port, uh, the communication for the inverter goes in the CAN socket. So that's in there and I'll just tuck that slack away. The ground, obviously neutral, uh, negative, whatever you want to call it, clicks on there push that through there in a minute and the positive one can go on there At some point, there we go. So I'm going to switch the solar panels on. That'll start charging soon. Here we go, it's working out what's going on. So 63%. I don't know if I pressed record when I went through the startup procedure, but uh, I'll just talk you over it. I have all the house electrics switched off. I have the solar panel switched off with that breaker. So the batteries are already switched on switched the breakers on there for the batteries then switched the inverter on the inverter runs for a uh, startup procedure which I caught on my phone so you would have seen that uh, and then it gradually starts waking up and then it doesn't just whack voltage into your batteries it is intelligent um, and as you would have seen it started off on a low low watts coming in and then it gradually ramps it up obviously the sun's in and out at the moment but it doesn't just sort of chuck volt, uh, voltage and watts into your batteries. At the moment we're bringing in just over 2000 watts. Batteries are now at 64%. They're slightly out on the lights, but that will charge up to 100% and it'll balance itself. Um, with the BMS, it balances all the cells and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, now, we did have a problem whether it's a problem or whether it's supposed to do it I never really did get to the bottom of it um, with the grow what charging off the grid now someone said it's set by default that it does it every 30 days to charge your batteries right up to 100% um, to equalize all the cells in the batteries that's possible but it wasn't every 30 days it was just sporadic and random um, but with this weather we're getting at the moment we're getting the batteries up to 100% every day so whether that balances it out or what I don't know 
but we shall see how we get on. We've got a lot more storage now and it'll be interesting to see how that storage lasts overnight. We can bring it all up on the app. Um, I've got to reset the bloody Wi-Fi thing, so. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. It's not really a how-to, it's just sort of talking you over what we've done. Up, another upgrade on the system. Um, obviously, we're gonna get December out of the way because we've got the CT on the car in December. Um, there might be a bit of money to spend on the car. Possibly got control arms to change, which I've got most of. Uh, there might be rear arm bushes to change as well. I might just change the rear arms. All four rear arms I can get for about 500 euros. So we're gonna get the car done out of the way. And then after Christmas, we'll maybe see about getting another battery. And uh, yeah, this one, it's all registered. So the warranty starts from today. And uh, we shall see how it goes. I'll say we're on 64% now. Um, when we switched all the system off, we was on about, uh, I can't remember now, but it's all working well. Um, they are fairly expensive. Obviously, they're on sale at the moment, these Pylon Tech batteries, so it was a bit cheaper. But um, we've been quite happy with them so far. Uh, a lot of people have had issues, but we've not had any issues. Touch wood. Um, so far, so good. The, the cabinet we've got them in isn't the best. It's it's a music cabinet for like a studio rack gear. It's not meant for the weight of these batteries. So we've got them fixed in at the front. There's some brackets that sort of bolt up in the middle and we've put some bits of wood across the back just on the edge of the battery, not because you've got to have a bit of an air gap between your batteries. Um, so if we do invest in a new battery next year, we'll look into a different uh, solution for stacking them up um, but that'll be later on anyway hope you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you next one bye for now